on. So a lot of people got all comments about Jimmy Butler's hairdo, saying Jim, if uh, Jermaine Stewart and Andre 3000 had a baby, that's what it been like with his hairdo. Some thought about Prince, some thought about James Brown, some thought about Michael Jackson. In the early days, especially with a jerry curl or a perm or one of them home kit dudes, hair in your eye was real fashionable. So Jimmy, different era, it was real fashionable, you know, like the imagery and style. The back in the day, basketball players, so much had different hair dudes. I remember this one player named Richie King had that Verdine white blowout for a moment. I seen all different hair dudes, fades, gumbies, Jerry Caress curls. Not so much permanent in the NBA, but, you know, it was a, a, the happening look for the brothers back in the 60s to the early 70s, no doubt. I don't care about all that. And, of course, everybody knows about Dennis Rodman and his Kool-Aid hair, which got all kinds of attention and, you know, dreads and braids. So you've seen all kinds of different looks. And uh, uh, LeBron got that hair club for men game going. So different people have seen different things. I don't make a big deal about all that. What he does on the court is all that matters to me. I He can look like a flock of seagulls. I don't care. Or Cisco. I don't care. You know, can he bring it come game time? He's been to two Eastern Conference finals, been, uh, two, been to two finals in the past three or four years, been to Eastern Conference quite a bit. It's just a matter of can you bring it home. That's all I care about at the end of the day. I'm not going to trip about what he do. Jimmy Butler didn't learn how to play the game. And he is one of the best teachers in Pat Riley in Miami. You know, you can play media game and his ethics and the way he plays loans himself because he carries himself like the lunch pail construction worker type. But he has a, you know, obviously a flamboyant persona and he likes to, you know, and it is cool. Some people are reading to it that he was trying to, is a sad day, but not getting Dame Lillard to emo and all that. I mean, like, I don't matter what it is. I don't care about all that. Bottom line is this, uh. Imagery don't make no difference. What's he going to do come June? He's been there twice in the last three years. Or if you include the Eastern Conference Finals, so it's like, hey, well, come Monday time, that's all I care about. He can wear, he can he can rock an El Val for fall, I care. Or Don King, electric shock do, I don't care, as long as you win. And I'm not concentrating on that other stuff. But, you know, it, it got some people talking. You know, it's a shame that that's what it takes these days. Because he's a really good player. I still think they need a money player. And it doesn't hide the fact that Pat Riley came up short from that. And for Jimmy Butler and Bam to get to the next level, they got to get that it cat in. And I don't know if Pat Riley can do it. So that's all I got on that. Please like, subscribe, roll thoughts, comments. And I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another. And share the review if you like it. I'm out. Peace.